Yes, you know, the Mills Brothers, where they would pretend like they were different instruments, and of course, Lewis and his great style. But um, when I found out the song was written by uh, America's great song, the man known as America's songwriter who, of course, was born in a shtetl in Belarus <laughs> <laughs> and, and came with his family uh, to New York City at the turn of the 19th to the 20th century. Tough life. His dad died when he was about six. He started working as a singing waiter when he was 11 and started writing songs. And the first song he wrote, uh, he published when he was 14. It was called Marie from Sunny Italy. And uh, when he got the, the paperwork back from the publisher, they had misspelled his name. And so henceforth, young Israel Bellin was known as Irving Berlin. <laughs> and in this particular song, uh, he wrote for a movie uh, that was based on one of his songs, Alexander's Ragtime, Alexander's Ragtime Band, uh, which starred Don Amici, uh, Tyrone Power, came out in the 30s. And the, the first person to present this song to the public was Ethel Merman. <laughs> and, uh, now, do you know what Ethel Merman and Bob Dylan have in common? Their last name Zimmerman. They're both. <laughs> There's something for your notebook. <laughs> you learn something useless every day, you know? <laughs> anyway, um, then, uh, but like I say, I, I just love this, this tune so much. And, uh, and it had these funny, jaunty lyrics kind of bopped along. And then, uh, actually, it's. This is this weekend is the anniversary of a, an accident I had 43 years ago, where I lost both my legs, and so the funny, jaunty lyrics of this tune took on a deep and profound meaning for me, although I still find them funny and jaunty. This is called my walking stick. <laughs> I'm 